Hey guys, so unfortunately my computer actually just broke the other day and I'm currently in the process of setting up a new PC, but in the meantime I'm stuck on this really old shitty laptop I'm on right now and my options are kind of limited when it comes to uh, video making, but I still wanted to put something out this week so this is going to be a tutorial on how I use hotkeys in VLC to enhance my immersion experience. Oh yeah, if you don't know what VLC player is, it's just pretty much the most common media player that uh, everyone uses. It's open source, highly recommend it, it's extremely powerful. So let's get started. So there's only a few hotkeys where I actually change the inputs from the default settings. So let's look at that now. So you want to go to tools, settings, hotkeys, and then right here you see a list of all the possible commands, and then on the right the actual inputs. So what I would change is uh, the ones that have to do with rewinding and fast forwarding. So right here, honno skoshi mai ni modoru. Uh, I'm not sure what the original English is exactly, but it's going to be something like rewind just a little bit. It rewinds three seconds back. So double click on this and then just click the left arrow key. That's what I would make it. And then wariate or select or whatever. And then right under it, we have the opposite. Hono skoshi saki ni susumu, which is go forward three seconds. So double click on this, hit right, wariate. Then right under this, we have skoshi mai ni modoru which is gonna be go back a little bit. I guess before it's go back a little, this one's go back a little tiny bit. This one's just go back a little bit. So double click on this and I would make it down. Select and then right here, Koshi Saki Ni Susumu. Hit forward, Wariate. Then Mai Ni Modoru. So this is just go go back and I think it's going to, I think it's one minute. Oh yeah, so, so this one was 10 seconds. We got three seconds back. 10 seconds back, and then this one is gonna be one minute back. So I would make this control left, and then this one right here, control right, and then kanari mai ni modoru. So this is go back a bit, but quite a bit. And it's five minutes back, I'm pretty sure. So double click on this, I would make this one shift left, and then kanari saki ni susumu. Shift right, and then uh, save. And for the settings to take place, at least on my computer, you have to restart VLC. Uh, now, the reason why this is cool, is that you can easily fast forward in any amount you want, uh, all with you know your hand just on the arrow keys. So basically, the way the reason why I planned it out this way is because when you're watching things in a language that you're not totally fluent in, there's going to be times where you just miss a line and you want to just just go back and hear that one line a few more times. And so, normally three second a three second rewind is going to be the best for this. Uh, that's how long most lines usually are. Ten seconds is normally a little too long, and if you rewind ten seconds, you're going to have to wait through five seconds of things you didn't actually want to rehear, and it can get pretty annoying. So I really like just having this uh, three second rewind. So that's why I made it. I mapped it to just the right and left arrow keys because that's the one that's easiest and most intuitive to use. You know, click air, click left, click the back arrow key, you go back three seconds. Click the forward arrow key, you go forward three seconds. Sometimes you, you might want to double click it and go back six seconds. Uh, but overall, like these are definitely the two that you're going to be using the most, and so it's super useful. And then the one that you're probably going to be using second most is the 10 second one. Like maybe sometimes you want to rewind 30 seconds. So you can just, uh, now I have it mapped to up and down. So if you want to rewind 30 seconds, just see a scene over, just click uh, back three, three times. It's a uh, pretty, uh, pretty useful as well. I use this one quite often. It might seem counterintuitive at first that the up and down corresponds to forward and backwards, but you should get used to that pretty quickly and it will become like, you know, muscle memory. You won't even have to think about it. And then sometimes you will want to go whole minutes forward. And so then uh, the control will help you with that. And then shift back and forward will let you uh, skip whole giant chunks, but I hardly ever use that. So yeah, this is by far the most useful uh, setup. Uh, on a lot of times when you're watching an anime the you know there'll be a one minute 30 second opening which most people some people like to watch every single time throughout the whole series i know some people are pretty particular about that but i usually skip it most of the time because it's the same every episode and i just want to get to the actual show and so what's cool with this setup is since the op openings of anime are one minute 30 seconds you can just go control right up 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 because that's going to be control right skip forward one minute, up, 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 skip forward to 30 seconds, and one, and this just becomes muscle memory. So you're watching the show, the opening starts, boop, 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 and then you're done. And then if it has that, like, then you can just, you know, skip an extra one. 
or do three three seconds one get it nine seconds so you don't go a second too far but overall it's really useful uh, I, I think it's worth like setting it up like this getting used to it because then it does really become uh, intuitive you don't have to think about it and so yeah that's by far the most useful uh, setup or the most useful hot thing I'm gonna show you in this video but other cool stuff is so obviously spacebar uh, pause and unpause uh, F full screen not full screen one thing that is pretty useful is shift s which takes a screenshot and so i mean first of all for a while now oh just whenever i'm watching anime and there's like a cool screenshot like a cool uh just like one of those ones where it just looks like a painting but it's just one image i'll just snap it and i have a folder full of like hundreds and hundreds of anime screenshots uh, that a lot of times i used to use them for thumbnails of videos and stuff so that's a fun thing you can do. But more practically, if you're ever watching something with subtitles and there's a sentence that you want to mine later, but you don't want to pause it and search the subtitle file and stuff, you can just take a screenshot of it. And if the subtitles are on the screen, it will actually take the, the screenshot with the subtitles. So then later you can go to the folder that you tell a VLC to save the, the pictures in and then just go through and uh, copy the sentences down or, or do control F with the original subtitle file and, and search for the sentences. And so that way you don't have to like interrupt your viewing experience to save sentences. It's just boop. And that's really nice. And so the last cool thing that I occasionally use is speeding up and slowing down. And so if you press the uh, little, the, the brackets right here, then it, you can speed up and slow down in uh, increments of 10%. And in the, the way that, so what happens when you speed uh, like slow down audio naturally I'm not, I don't really know the science behind this but like when you like slow down an audio file the pitch gets deeper and so naturally if, if you want it to sound nice and crisp as you slow down or speed it up uh, the the pitch will either will rise and fall accordingly but the default settings in VLC is to first stretch it out and have the pitch go low but then correct for the pitch so it sounds as if the pitch didn't drop low and so if you listen to it well it's uh, like slow when it's slowed down, you hear the actual uh, pitch doesn't really change, but it does get all kind of pixely, or, or it doesn't sound as crisp because it's uh, you know being modulated with. So what I like to do is if you go to tools, settings, audio, and then uncheck this box right here, and then knowing VLC, you probably have to restart for the settings to take place. Then uh, it's not going to correct for the sound after, and so when you slow, slow it down, it is going to get lower. When you speed it up, it is going to get higher. And so uh, this makes it, in my opinion, much more entertaining, but also it's nice because the, it sounds just as crisp. And so sometimes you might want to slow it down 10% and like pay extra attention to pitch accent, or maybe you want to speed it up and you know train your listening abilities. So uh, this is a cool uh, feature that I mess with occasionally. And no matter how much you speed up or slow down, if you press the equals button, it brings it back to the original pitch. Oh yeah, and also mute, uh, if you change the sound, and then, uh, uh, yeah. Okay, so that was uh, uh, my way I use hot, hot keys in VLC. Okay, sorry for the shitty video. Uh, hopefully get more stuff out when I get my new computer. Peace out, guys.